Alright, welcome one and all. Navigator EX here, and I'm a just a smidge behind. Uh, as I get caught up to where I was last week on Resident Evil Zero. So we got to the part where the cable car is doing cable car things. Let me let me lower my mic a little bit and move it a little bit back so I can sit back with a little better posture. Ah, I like having a working back. Um. Oh boy, cable car. Where? Come. Let me grab the grab the thing, Billy. 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 Don't be a bite. All right. Output regulator. No power. I think Becky has the other piece. What the hell was that? Game just stuttering for no reason. Okay. Change that over to Billy. Uh, I have a feeling we're going to come up on a section with them separate too, considering how last week ended. So I'm going to do him a favor and leave him with pistol ammo because she's going to. She's got a shotgun and she's got Molotovs. It's fine. Okay, I can't grapple back up there, can I? I cannot. I left the grappling hook. What the hell just happened? What? Bullshit! Boo! Boo game! Boo windows! Being a dick. What the hell is that? I have a sneaking suspicion Windows is trying to do some goofy shit in the background that it should not be doing on account of Windows shouldn't be doing the things when I say don't do the things. I always hated that about 7 and 10. Like they just they just impose on you. All right, now get in there, power this sucker up. Get Becky her shotgun shells. Because our snappily dressed couple is about to have shit visited on them. For real. Ugh. Er, back, 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 back. I get down to Rebecca and give her her. Things. Get, get, get the thing. Get get in the corner. Billy! Uh, does he still have the Okay, I just wanted to check for a second to see if he still had the handcuff on. Because that would be kind of great. Uh, I haven't given these costumes enough props, really. Like, I talk a little bit of shit about him looking like a Tekken... Protagonist, but you know, the snappy dresser. Now the walkie-talkie just kind of magnetized to his ass cheek. That's a little bit much, but you know, he can't win them all. I don't know. Maybe he has a little magnetic clip clips onto his belt or some nonsense. I don't know. Let me take a better look at Rebecca's outfit. Okay. Oh, yeah, just pull it wherever thought for a moment. It's like, I'm sorry, did I break your concentration? Okay, so she's got shotguns and Molotovs. Well, a shotgun, really, but, you know, who's counting? And he's got a pistol and an empty grenade launcher. Probably not ideal, but, uh... Hey. Hmm. You know what? He's about to be... alone, and she's about to get on that, that cable car, so let's see what happens. Let's leave that for her to pick up, which she doesn't even have the inventory room, does she? Ah, butt poop. 
I gotta get it on that cable car somehow. Whatever. Eh, let's see. Team, and here we go. Now, I checked my footage from last week, and I do recall him being the one to open the door, so hopefully I'll be doing this part the same as last week, and here we go. And that monkey, that, that thing has some unfortunate skin. A hell of a leap on it, too. Makes me want to watch Congo all of a sudden. Oh god, I forgot about the... Ah, shit! He gets first... He gets first strike right out the gate, just a whip crack and boom, he's done. Okay. Fire! Damn it, Becky, fire! I don't have to do all this shit over again. Probably help if I was hitting the right button. What? Ah, boo! <laughs> was it a minimum safe? Was it a minimum safe distance thing, or did, did he get a hit in that I didn't Zero. register? I don't know. Yo, the viewer decide. Oh boy. I uh, make sure to load her up on her Molotovs before I open that train door. Cable car. Cable car. Why do I keep wanting to call it a train? Ah, eh, well, it's some kind of box car vehicle. It doesn't matter. Alright, and leave that I decided on a minute ago, so... Okay, pick up the grappling hook, the hook shot, ah, uh, now if only someone could mod this game where right before the cutscene when he launch, when whoever launches this thing, they, they do like link grunt noises. <laughs> Bonus points for having him do a link plummeting noise when he's knocked off the edge by our simian friend okay and get in the wait boop, boop. does he have shotgun shells on him he does go ahead and uh and that'll ease that along And she's ready. Mostly. She she still needs the other shotgun shells. Ah. Rebecca, put that fire away. Safety first. And that's something. I'm looking at this this hook shot. It's a pretty beefy contraption and I'm like is it pulling him up with its own like onboard motor or is he like having to climb up I'm assuming from the animation it being all smooth and everything that, that it's pulling him up and if so good on you machine that is a hefty little, little contraption And we're skipping that. Thank you. I remember on Mythbusters they had trouble making their own little grappling guns. They were doing some goofy Batman challenge or some such, making their own little grappling devices. I can't remember whose worked better. I want to say that uh, Jamie's worked better, that Adam's had some like hiccup part of the way up, but... Mm. Either way, you know, just the idea of having a grappling hook that you can just... A little portable, deployable that you could just crime fighter your way up the side of a building with, and not 
plummet to your untimely death. Ah, oh, boy. Or you could just go the suction cup route. <laughs> because that's... <laughs> because that makes sense. Ah, uh, yeah, she's got shotgun. He has shotgun. He has pistols. Oh, shoot. Uh. Oh, boy. I feel like I should just go on ahead and save again, but... Nah. Okay, what's, what's in that room? Magnum rounds. The Magnum is on the train. Okay, what's in that room? Okay, so this is where I am. A lot of different things. But, but, but. There's a first aid spray in a room that I didn't grab. Another set of ink ribbons. Eh. I feel like Billy will probably need that first aid spray because given how things are. Uh, I don't know. If I wind up doing this sequence again, I'm going back grabbing the ink ribbon, first aid spray, and saving again, just so I don't have to do the scavenger hunt. Okay. Dickhead! Ah, shit! I got like one more hit, and I'm dead. Oh, come on! Hmm. Now she needs the damn first aid spray. Two Molotovs. That's all it took. And the guy, that guy gets like what? Three? What was that three hits? Like, damn it! Okay, not up there. Uh, was there a set of herbs a little while back? I remember the area where they were at. Did I use those? I feel like I used those. Hmm. I'm gonna check. I, I need her to not be in danger status. Caution is better than nothing. Danger practically is nothing. Uh, no, that was the hunter door, as I recall, and I don't want to instantly get murdered. Where is the first aid spray? It was on this floor. Pretty much back the way I came. Gotcha. Okay. But that wasn't what I was here for. I was here. Hmm. Oh boy, I've already forgotten some of the direction. Eh. Ooh. worst part is I don't recall if I even interacted with a first aid spray, so... That is the room with the train car. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So, B1. B2 is the cable car. Huh. I feel like I'm reading this map so wrong. Oh well. It is currently 4.15. If I don't get back to the place that had those herbs in like five minutes, then screw it, moving on. I just really don't want her to die yet, and uh, it's looking 
pretty much like she's gonna. No surprises, please. Yep, this is where they were. They are gone. Uh, well, there's... That, that settles that. Okay, moving on. <laughs> ah, I gotta love it when things go quickly. Oh, boy. Still need to watch more Babylon 5. I have... I've gotten one more episode in. I have a guy who played Kano in the old Mortal Kombat movie from the 90s in there. I swear it was him. Mostly from the hair. He didn't have the... The beard... Power going to the cable car. Ah, but and I'm not going back for those magnum rounds. Uh oh! Whoa, boy. If I get killed by one of these things, then I probably deserved it. Output regulator coil. Uh, maybe I should have given Billy the upgraded pistol as well. Ah. Oh, well. It's not like I can give him the Magnum. Ah, uh, them leeches are nasty. Can you imagine having to deal with leeches like that? Just big bastard hamburger-sized leeches. Just holy shit! Considering how big normal ones swell up to, it's like you get one leech on you, you're going to the hospital, two of them, you're probably dead. Those are some... Those are some beefy leeches. They are not playing around. He should have had the shotgun because she's about to get the magnum. Damn it. Okay, well, if I die, I know that, um, for next time. Ah, oh, boy. Well, looks like this is the spot. Okay, ooh, is that a... Almost looks like a purse under that one chair. All these newspapers strewn about. I wonder if there's anything else in the car, doesn't look like. Yeah, the way forward is the way with the... Jacked up windows. Okay, I probably should have gotten all that stuff and put it on the cable car because I don't know when I'm going to be back here, but meh. Oh, well, we'll find out. So long, Umbrella Lab. We hardly knew ye. We did not want to know ye. Nobody loves ye. And you're going to die friendless alone. I'm sorry, ye going to die friendless and alone. And surrounded by cats. Uh, laboratory complete. Yay! It took how many weeks? Oh, come on. I'll take him. I will. Wait, what's her inventory like? Well, she can't carry the green herb. Hmm... Whatever, I'm still going to use one, because why not? I know I could have gotten a better effect out of two of them, but whatever. We'll, we'll see how this goes. So there's a door, and there's a stairway. Okay, yeah, if I know anything about these, these games, which I don't, I was going to guess... That that was probably a save room. <laughs> ah, boy. I've been itching to make more music recently. Okay, nothing in this room yet. I've been itching to make more music recently. I just cannot bring myself to do it. I just... It's like I'll sit there in front of Beatbox and I'm like... Something. What's a mood? What's a setting I can think of? And nothing happens. Ah, ink ribbon. Hooray. Man, well, I can't wait to get to the item box. Oh! Hey, a map. If 
thought I heard something else other than her footsteps. Ugh. Well, I got the factory map. Can't carry this item now. Oh, he's got the... Okay. Ah, the grenade launcher. Oh, boy. Um... Hmm... Let's, uh... Let's drop the Molotov for a moment so that I can save. She's got four inventory slots filled with guns. I need to drop something with her. It's... If I'm dropping heavy weapons, let's drop the Molotov, as w the Magnum as well. We'll see if I need that yet. Leave weapons in this room. Then save, because worst case scenario, I just reload the save and pick them back up. Oh, boy. Ah, used to monitor equipment at the construction site. I'm not trying to mess around with it, game. I'm trying to... I want the freaking ink ribbons, damn it. They're right there. Oh, God. Why would you put the ink ribbons on a prop? That is... That's bad. That is bad, Capcom. Who did that? What the hell's wrong with you? Good job. Okay. I'm not picking these up. I'm just doing that so I can get them on the map. Oh, there's a little hatch in the floor, too. Handgun ammo. I have the sneaking suspicion that will not be enough, and that angle says that, to me, that red button is pushable. Okay, let's do it. Oh, it's a typewriter. It's not another prop. Gotcha. Come on, game. That's mean. Okay, save successful. Can we... Moving on. Let's see, do I go down the hatch, back out? Let's see, what, what are my options for exits? I got that hatch, possibly. I've got what looks to be an elevator there on the east side. Uh -oh. Woo, that's fast. Well, let's see. Watch this hatch be locked. It is tightly sealed, gotcha. control panel with a keyhole, so I need a key. Oh, yay! That seems like a thing I'm gonna have to hunt, and it's probably gonna be a room full of some kind of horrible proto-liquor abominations. Going down... Floor 3, housewares, electronics, horrible monsters. Oh, this doesn't look like a factory. This looks like a silo. Oh, oh, this reminds me of the silo on, uh, oh, God, was it Goldeneye? I'm having Goldeneye flashbacks from that room. I know I just heard something move. Now I'm not having GoldenEye flashbacks anymore. A uh, big ol' turbine. I did not drop the ink ribbons. I'm a dummy. You know what? Screw it. This room doesn't have any enemies in it yet. I'm just gonna leave them. I'm gonna leave them right here. Like some kind of jerk. Take the factory key. That sounds like a thing. Something is being displayed. Oh, hello! Whoa! Look at them pearly whites. Right there in the middle of its head. That, that, that is a... That is a smile. That is a monster that has seen some shit. A giant humanoid being is suspended in bioorganic fluid inside a capsule. Oh boy, and it has a claw. It's some kind of tyrant. 
That's great. Mouse, your work is finished. For the moment, your services. Ah, son of a bitch! Well, I guess I didn't need those ink ribbons. No! Or that pistol. Ah! So many mistakes were made! Like, I can't help but wonder if those hunters are the same hunters from earlier. I mean, obviously, I doubt it. But it's like, it would be, it'd be great, though, if you just, like, tie a ribbon around one of them, you know, because clearly they're going to stand around long enough for you to ribbon up shotgun. Okay, you know what? It's looking uh, a little bit more likely that I'm going to need that, that heavy weapon. Something written on the tag. Hmm. A really bad lowercase n. Or possibly the letter U. That works. The up key. What's up key doesn't quite have the same ring to it. Okay, keyhole. Oh, one of these kind of elevators. Oh, this screams boss battle. I'm... You know what? I know we just had had hunters one room away, but th that elevator is just screaming boss arena. Something about its layout just just makes me think, like, yeah, Becky gonna die, but she's got twenty one shots to live. Yeah, that's right. Lamp along. Oh boy. Is there anything on or, on or around this? Ooh, a chair. Wait, is there a table? Is there a ladder? Are we going to have a tables, ladders, and chairs match? Yes! Ah, big old turd bucket. Oh, well, it's not a full full path around, so probably not a boss, air, a boss arena. Probably not. I should be safe. What the hell am I doing here, though? What's going on? Huh? Okay, I feel like I'm missing something important. So I've got an elevator that just came up, and it's all like, Hey, how you doing? Looking to go down? Oh, big button, that's right. Lower the turntable. Please, no record scratches! Put a vanser on this thing. Put a wanser on it. It's about big enough for one. Oh, what are you? I see a shiny. Oh, son of a. I mean, yay, cutscene. Don't shoot. I'm gonna guess his name is Rodrigo. Are you okay, Rebecca? Where is everybody? They should have arrived here before me. Haven't you seen them? That's unfortunate. If we go straight or from Steve. here, we should arrive at an old mansion which Umbrella uses for research. Come on, let's go. Wait, I've got to find Billy. Billy Cohen? You mean you found that criminal? Yes, but we got separated and... No point worrying about him. He won't make it. Come on, let's go. Dude, read the room. I need to find him. Don't worry, I'll catch up with you. Rebecca, 
All right. Just be careful. I never saw him again. <laughs> okay. What? What? What the hell was that line? I mean... <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that at any point in these games where they decided to just call out that a character is just done. He's dead. You're. I never saw him again. And neither will you. I mean, what the hell, game? It's like, nah, just screw that guy. He's he's dead. <laughs> he ain't going nowhere. Uh. This is this is his last game appearance. You'll never see him. He doesn't even get a funeral. <laughs> oh boy. What the hell? Door read security room. No need to search this place. It's a security room. That is every need to search this place. It's like the, the security room. They, they can't have weapons. They totally can't. No kind of first aid paraphernalia, handcuffs, you know, riot shields. And it's just the security area of a. No need to. What, what the hell am I doing? Where am I going? What the hell? You've already searched this area. Okay. What, what the hell am I doing? Damn it. Ugh. My brain no worky. Uh, have I already searched this area too? It's not working right now. What the hell am I doing? Device used like to activate the elevator. There's a keyhole. Okay. I'm so caught up in my own bullshit that I can't even remember my key. Ah, no funny looking squiggles. A key necessary to get the elevator ready again. Okay, it has been activated. Cool. Holy crap! Attack rocks! Oh, or... This guy, I guess. Oh boy, I wonder what his weak spot is. Also, that big bastard claw there! Holy crap! Okay, so that, that uh, supposition about this being a boss arena, I suppose I was... Kinda? Well, I waffled back and forth on that one, so I'm not even gonna call that one. Oh, boy. Buddy, you looking rough. Quick! Hit him with a barrel! Feel the Donkey Kong energy! Uh? Oh, that was... that was great. Point blank shotgun shot. Up the butt! Up the butt! That is not good. Ow! She is not going to survive another one of those. Okay, can I stun lock him? Okay, that's not great. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not if I don't... Oh, that's dead. That's just death. Get up, Becky. Please get up. I don't like being dead. Being dead sucks. How many shotgun shells does this guy take? You know. Aside from, you know, all of them. Dead. Okay. Uh. Ah. Huh. Hope I don't have to roll back and get that first aid spray. Okay, so she's just on her own now. She's. Oh my guts. She's underground. 
she separated from her favorite inmate. It's dark and silent. But you can still feel your heartbeat. Okay. Listen to your heart. The monster's hunting for you. Leave. 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 Oh, I don't have the grenade launcher. Oh, I want to go back. I want to grab the grenade launcher. Her footsteps. I mean, I keep hearing them late because of the way I monitor my audio. And it's like I keep expecting some zombie to be shambling in the room every time. Without fail. Okay. Can I go back and pick up the grenade launcher? That would be rad. Okay, let's see. Just... Curious. Why the hell have I got Bionic Commando stick on my... Oh, because I said rad one time. Okay. You know what? Let's see. Hmm. Weird the way your brain kind of rabbit trails off on things. Huh. Oh, boy. Let's see. Okay, that must be the way back up. Start the cable car. Get the cable! Oh, good. I'm looking at the whole Balan Wonderworld thing. I still need to play that demo. But Square Enix seems to be willing to recommend it with confidence. They issued that statement shortly after game development lead Yuji Nako is like, nah, this game is, is trash because they didn't let it, let me finish tinkering with it and they don't care about gamers. And then Square Enix is like, yeah, we recommend this game with confidence. Screw that guy. Uh, uh boy, I think the reviews kind of disagree, but, you know, we'll... I guess we can see some point. Uh... You know what? I'm about to go into a area <laughs> with a boss. I think it's time I burn an ink ribbon. Hmm, first aid spray. Ah, uh, ink ribbon. That's that room with that that hidden area, isn't it? Eh, whatever. I don't. I don't freaking care. I'm not going back for the magnum rounds. I'm just going back for the. First aid spray, which is through two doors real quick. Okay, I want the grenade launcher, and I want the first aid spray. I want to grab these, um, ink ribbons. I shouldn't have picked up the shotgun yet. Oh, boy. Because I'm going to be like... One inventory slot short of what I want for all of this crap. Uh, planning. Balan Wonderworld. There, there are quite a few colorful game worlds out there. It is nice to see those. That it's not just all super realistic or, or grim dark. Or brown like the mid... 2000s and mid 2010s. I mean, what the hell was that? <laughs> just worlds and worlds of of just sepia tone mud screen nonsense. Uh, sadly, colorful environs cannot always save your game. Oh, boy. Uh, I have managed to make this next part basically just running around shit. That sucks!
So I'm going to drop the first aid spray in that. Okay. A relay race action here. Uh... I'm not using it right now because there's uh, that other herb there, which I am going to use. I know I'm going into a boss battle right now, so I need that health. I need Rebecca to not die. That would be swell. Hmm. Oh, boy. So I'm looking at some reboots listed um, across a couple of articles. I think GameSpot had articles. Damn it, mouse. Hey, mouse! On uh, GameSpot. And, uh, yeah. So, one, there's a League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, because the world clearly needed more of that. <laughs> I don't know. I want, I want to see it. I really do. Uh, no details, just that it's probably going to be a movie. I think they had, a like, one name attached, and I was too stupid to write it down. But, hey, whatever. The article's there for whoever wants to read it. It was on GameSpot. I, I didn't know the source material at all. I didn't remember it being um, the movie being an adaptation of a comic. So, early comic book movie, and that's all right. Oh, she could use the Magnum. Oh, God. The shotgun, a grenade launcher, a Magnum, and 14 shotgun shells. That seems like overkill. What is she currently carrying? Okay. The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. The last movie Sean Connery did, um, the last live action movie Sean Connery did, he did some like kiddie fair, um, right before retiring. And, uh, it's unfortunate how, how badly received it was. I mean, it wasn't a great movie. It was it was dumb. I thought it was fun. It was dumb. But, I mean, look up the re Wikipedia article on that. If you haven't seen the story, if, you ha if you're not familiar with the material like me, I mean, because I had, I had no freaking idea. Um, yeah, it's batshit insanity all the way through. I think one of the characters goes off to live in space or something, and I'm like... And then there's multiple additional immortals and and it's just it's just bananas all around. Everything's insane. So of course I want this to happen. Drop this. Let's see, where are those grenades? That was just one of the two reboots I saw. And the other one's another one I'm I'm not sure about. I'm I'm iffy on the prospect. I want to see it and I want it to be good. But it's married with children, old 90s sitcom. I wanna say it started in the 90s. It might have been 80s to 90s. But oh boy, it's been forever since I watched that show anyway. I loved that growing up. Just about this <laughs> cranky asshole shoe salesman uh, living on the high of his high school football career with these with this these two asshole kids. This one like goofy ass perverted son and his ditzy bimbo daughter, and then his wife. Oh, good lord, Peggy. For anyone who doesn't know what that show is, I mean, how, how could you not? I don't know. It's almost like not knowing what Sanford and Son is. Uh, says the guy who didn't know it, that that was an adaptation of Steptoe and Son for years. Uh, but yeah, so that's being revived as a, an animated series. I'm like, okay... Yes, use it. Ah, oh, boy. 
Use it. Use it. Married with Children, the animated series. Apparently they got one of the showrunners from Family Guy. What's his name? Uh, the executive producer Alex Carter on to write and uh, showrun for it. So that leaves me to understand that it's probably going to lean a little bit more in that direction, which is good because you don't want, with the kind of content Family Guy had on in its time, you don't want it to be quite as much like Simpsons was, so I, th I think in that regard, it's in good hands. I would, I would expect a Married with Children adaptation to lean a bit more Family Guy. Leave the first aid spray. Oh boy, she's got. She ain't got room for your shit. Okay. Where are the ink ribbons? And it's a different enough family from Family Guy where I'm not worried about it just being a carbon copy no matter what they do. Ah. Uh... My question is, they have signed David Faustino, Christina Applegate, Ed O'Neill, and Katie Seagal. Took me a second to remember her name. I'm wondering, they had a dog on the series. They started with Buck, and I want to say they ended with Lucky. What are they going to do about the family dog? Are they going to have the family dog? I kind of hope it's not a situation where they, they, they anthropomorphize him to the point like Brian Griffin. He better not be working on his, his great American novel. That's all I'm saying. You know that Malloy from Brickleberry shit either. Yeah, Married with Children is the, has the benefit of having multiple assholes. You don't have to have, you don't have to have the obligatory team asshole on that show. Everyone's an asshole. Did I save over my save file, or did I make a new one? I meant to save over, but whatever. Alright, and here's this. Get these hunters out of my way. Nobody loves you. Hello! Hey, how you doing? Two! She took two hits, now she's already back in a caution. I saw that hand on that side. Uh, uh, Man, now all they need, though, are some shades and some chains and that big, toothy Battletoads grin. Uh, why am I going that way? I don't need to go that way. There's a keyhole. Kingdom Hearts is light! Seen it. Okay, what am I doing? I've got six grenades. Enough shotgun shells or shotgun drama. Oh man. Weird ass butchered ass Thailand what tyrant Thailand with some kind of proto tyrant or whatever he is. Oh, I'm going the wrong way already. Ah focus. Resident Evil needs a luchador. I keep seeing folding chairs everywhere. So many folding chairs. Every one of these damn games has at least one folding chair, I swear, except for, you know, the last one, because, you know... Wait, no, I think it did have folding chairs in some of the rooms. It's like... 
unmovable props as well. So yeah, folding chairs everywhere. And we don't have one wrestler here. I mean, we got Chris Redfield. I mean, the our resident boulder puncher, but boulder punching isn't wrestling. And I'll look at look at these surfaces. Look. Come back to this. How tall is this? How high is that over Rebecca? Look at how much uh hand hold foothold coverage. I could see someone doing a moonsault off the top of this. We got a freaking wrestling ring. You know, wrestling action, man. In Resident Evil. Lucha some zombies. He was never seen again. Okay, um. And we got a key. Which I can't pick up because I'm a dumbass. <laughs> oh no. Okay. What am I doing? I am dropping a first aid spray on the ground. Doubling back for the key. Oh. Mucha lucha, mucha lucha. It's a way of life. I watched too many cartoons as a kid. I saw Beast Wars toys at Walmart. Holy shit, I forgot about that. Beast Wars. Transformers. Where they're robots, but they're animals. I loved Beast Wars. I don't love them enough to pay $40 on clearance for Optimus Primal or Megatron. N no, not even a little. That was their clearance price. I'm like, I would love to have Megatron sitting on my shelf. That was like, I loved Megatron in that show. I just love Megatron in general, but you know, which whichever one you go for. But, damn! Guess I'm not quite that into toys. Sometimes I wish, wish I were. Damn it, though. Big purple dinosaur Megatron. Ugh. Oh, wait. Why am I still watching this? Okay, he was unfazed. Your butt crack. Whoop. Okay, that was... I see that was the wrong way. Move, move. Okay. Uh huh. Please stop being alive, sir. Rather poor choice of words. <laughs> Game. Why do you do these things? Zero. Why do you make me so sad? <laughs> uh, $40 option. Had they had Scorponok up there, I think I would have reversed my decision. Because that was one of the toys from Beast Wars that I had. I loved Scorponok. Big scorpion dude. Uh, I mean, obvious. Um, but not like the Mortal Kombat one. And he had like this thing. Uh, his, I want to say it was his right claw on the toy. Uh, in the cartoon, it, he shot wasps out of it, little robot wasps. They were like little dumbass-seeking missiles. And, uh... <laughs> so, okay. Uh, she has not gotten that key yet. Leave you. Uh... And on the toy, they couldn't, like, fit little ones into the claw for whatever reason. They just made like the top half of the claw kind of split open into a weird little wasp wings. So, so like two thirds of his claw were just a, a big bastard wasp. And it was, I loved it. It was so cool. If they'd had that up there, I would have strongly considered going on ahead and grabbing that toy anyway, in spite of not wanting to spend the money. Ugh. Like, damn it. And then right, right below those, they had a bunch of Turbo Man dolls. It's like, I didn't know that was a thing. Like, damn it. Those I would almost buy for a gag, but they were, they were huge. They were well over a foot tall, I want to say. It's Turbo Time! They were unnecessarily tall. Whoa! Cut it out! Out of my way! 
Oh, I'm about to get gang beat. That's two, three. Cut it out. Now she's even more hurt. Hooray. And I'm down a shotgun shell that I'd hoped would do more than mildly stagger that guy. Yeah, anyway, point is, Walmart seems, the local Walmart seems to be doing these, like, nostalgia toys for some reason. I don't know how many Walmarts. I'm assuming it's not just this one. That would be, that would be silly. Shut up, trains! It's like, damn it, nostalgia toys. Ah. Uh. Right in the feels. Screen flicker. Don't you go crashing back to Steam and see my game list and that one friggin' blemish on it. Ugh. Ah, uh, let's see. <clears throat> Hell, I love Beast Wars Megatron. I just love the voice. And I don't remember the voice actor right off the top of my head. Oh, boy. I just think that show did characters better than, than a lot of the other cartoons at the time. So there were some good cartoons in the 90s. And then there was shit like Cadillacs and dinosaurs kind of nonsense. And there was that Knights of the Round Table cartoon where they were like football players or something. And you had Captain Simeon and the Space Monkeys. So there were some garbage cartoons too. Captain Simeon and the Space Monkeys. What? I don't know. I'm getting off track. I didn't even look at her outfit after mentioning her. She got an arm tattoo. What is that? Let's see, can I get a good close shot? Ah, it's a butterfly. Neat. Her microphone is not magnetically stuck to her butt. I mean, it may be, but it actually looks like it could have a belt clip for, for where it's at. She does have a couple of belts. One pair of belts... And I feel like she's just not channeling quite enough Tetsuya Nomura. She needs more belts. About, you know, 70 or 80. Like little little sm small belts, like tiny belts, and ankle bracelets and shit. Just belts everywhere. All of them black. They can't be any color other than black, or else she's doing it wrong. And no one ever. Oh. Ah, I kind of wanted to see if we could get a better look at that butterfly. You're not butterflies anymore. You're murder flies. Ugh. Oh, that's going to get me killed. Oh, wrong button. Why do I still want to hit that for the menu? Elevator has been acted. Elevator action! No! Stop being alive, you dick! Whoop! Okay, I'm out. Uh, leave that. Okay, that wasn't quite the response I was going for, but, uh, close. Where's my... Ah! Where's my first aid spray? Don't tell me it's under the grenade launcher. Let's back up from... Oh, come on, guy! I need that! I mean, I probably don't. Factory, that was it? That was all the factory? What the hell? What are we doing? Where's my thing? Where's my first aid spray? I, I dropped it. Where did I drop it? Oh no. 
Double oh no. Let's take it. Okay, let's see this map. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. That's shit, game. That is bullshit. Amazing disappearing first aid spray. Okay. I am going to say it. There is a good bit to like about this game. I like the setting. I like the character designs. I kind of like Billy. He's an, he's an interesting uh, co-protagonist. You got a decent lineup of weapons. The hook shot is a, is a cool thing. Um, you start out on a train, but I can forgive the, that. And the, the mansion layout is not too bad. Leeches are kind of unique as an enemy. But fuck this inventory system. And now you've screwed me out of a first aid spray game. I'm going to go out there again. I'm going to see if that has reappeared. If that hasn't reappeared... Okay. Now this game has officially worn out its welcome for me. Okay, that's, that's a dick move game. That is a dick move. Removing that first aid spray. Okay, that... That is officially docked points. When when curatives are in such scarce supply, and I'm just robbed one because I don't know. I guess a change in game statement that that I'm not literally in the same room as I was, even though it's visually the same. I'm gonna guess it's some development horse shit like that. But still, what the hell? Boo! It's like I want my toys. Even if they're $40 on clearance. <laughs> what the hell, game? Ugh. Rant over. Oh, boy. Oh, we back up to... Wait a second. This is... This is familiar. This is very familiar. This is worryingly familiar, because I know where I am now. Uh, I have a sneaking suspicion I don't need to go back there yet. But, let's take a look at the map. Let's see what's in that main hall. Okay, I was about to say, if it just ate all of my items. Hey, magnum rounds, and shotgun ammo, and empty bottles. Hey, I can, I can get Becky's Molotov back on. Oh god, my stomach is just going bonkers. Oh man, it's five already. Wait a second, are there ink ribbons in this area? Because there should be. I could have sworn that I left some ink ribbons in this part of the mansion. Knife. No. Yeah. I'm not carving an unholy swath of destruction back to the church just to get a couple of ink ribbons. That would be kind of goofy too. So I was on level 3 to start with. Level 1 is back to start. Level 2. What's level 2? It better not be the chemical plant zone again. I've seen that too many times. Don't get me wrong, it has a nice catchy jingle, but, you know, there's only so much of that I will I will tolerate, Sega. I know this isn't a Sega game. I'm talking shit. I'm busy talking shit! Huh? Oh, wait. There are audible footsteps. There are large audible fo footsteps, and I don't like it. I don't like that. I went the wrong way. Sit down, you bastard. It's like, nah, screw you for exploring, player. 
Oh, what is that? Herbs! Hi to the ho, Reeferinos! What is my inventory like right now? Oh boy, what is this? Is this... I'm back to the... rough general area of the train, I think. Eh, get up here. Hmm, you know what? Let's drop the grenade launcher and, uh... I'll come back to that in a second. I want to get these herbs. Put them in my inventory. I get hit again. I'm probably going to have to take those. What is Billy's special ability? She can combine herbs and do chemical things. He can use a lighter... Is that it? Is that really all she's keeping him around for? Is as a human Zippo? Door is now unlocked. Neat. Which door is it? Ah, uh, that that's the door. Okay. Back to freaking start. Ugh. All of that, and I kill a tyrant. Lose a first aid spray. I better not have lost an ink ribbon in here, too. Good. It's right there. Okay, how many ink ribbons? Uh, I, I feel like I've saved too many times in this stream, but what... It, that, where is it at? Oh! Oh, that is that is a bad, a bad thing. Okay, let's see how she's standing. Okay. I'm not dropping the grenade launcher that far out of view. That is not cool. Made short work of that tyrant, but, you know, still. Oh, there we go. Pick it up. Because I'm about to have to sign off. Oh, is that three ink ribbons? It is three ink ribbons. Oh, whatever. It's fine. Typewriter. Let's go ahead and save that. Oh, boy. I'm talking shit about Sega and... Sonic the Hedgehog nonsense. Apparently they're planning multiple remakes and remasters just this year. I'm like, okay, we'll see. We'll see. But uh, if they don't do anything with Virtua Fighter, then they're doing it wrong. I'm sorry, that franchise has been languishing for so long. I get it. There's other among its fighting game peers that are getting all of the press forever. Come on, Sega. You, you can... You can bring Akira and the Bryants and and I guess that big metal bastard Dural out, whatever. Just do it. Just do it, you cowards. I don't know. But they plan to double their game sales to 13 million by next year. I'm like, huh. That Why does that feel low, seeing that number? I don't know. Let's see, going ahead and delete my note on the reboot since I'm I'm really about to leave I'm just just had to get that Sega thought off my head before I continued on eh I don't know I blame the coffee I'm scatterbrained as all hell anyway I just saved I just entered and beat the factory even died a couple of times still got progress in this hour holy crap I actually did a thing today and I even have an herbal mix that is not a first aid spray to, to show for it, so... <sighs> ah, screw this game! <laughs> I want to see this one through, but damn it.
anyway, I'll be back Wednesday. Oh, that that carried longer than I'd expected. I'll be back Wednesday with Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops, which doesn't unnecessarily eat your consumables, um, including men. And I'll be back next week with more of this. Hopefully it'll behave next week, because I don't intend to. So thanks again, one and all, for stopping by. Navigator EX here. I will see you when I see you. Treasure of first aid supplies. They may vanish in a pinch. Ah, uh, this all could have been handled with a save box, with an item box. That's all I'm saying. That's, uh, that's all I'm saying, Capcom. Where, where, where my item box at? See them shotgun shells? They're in an ammo box. It is a box for ammo. And they don't go anywhere until I put them into bad guys. Ugh. I'm gonna stay raw about that. Take it easy, party people. Mm.